Welcome to Italics, television for the Italian American experience. I'm your host, Anthony Tamburri. First of all, from those of us at Italics and CUNY TV, we wish you all a happy and healthy new year. For this month's episode, we visited the 14th annual gala weekend of ILICA, the Italian Language Intercultural Alliance. The main theme for 2018 was the dance of culture and business. How do the arts influence the economy? On October 26, together with the Calandra Institute and the National Organization of Italian American Women, Ilica hosted an evening symposium. Four special guests included Patrick Cabanda, who is the author of The Creative Wealth of Nations, Can the Arts Advance Development? And a Juilliard-trained organist and a Fletcher-trained international affairs professional. He received Juilliard's William Schumann Prize for Outstanding Achievement and Leadership in Music. Mula Sungani, who is a director, choreographer, author, and art director, studied with Alvin Alley in New York. A child prodigy, at only 13 years old, he danced and sang in shows with Ginger Rogers, Ella Fitzgerald, James Brown, and Stevie Wonder. His work is represented in many theaters, including the Fenice of Venice, the Opera of Rome, and the Ancient Theater of Taormina. He is the founder of the Mula Sungani Physical Dance Studio. Matteo Fedeli is the creator of the project A Stradivari for the People. The initiative is aimed at making everyone know and appreciate the unique and fascinating sound of the musical instruments made by one of the greatest luthiers of all times, Antonio Stradivari. Among his many distinctions, Matteo is the only violinist to have played 25 different Stradivari violins. Stefano Boscolo Cucco graduated from Padova University with an innovative thesis on how to rebuild beaches, which later became an executive project that has propelled Stefano into a career in which he now collaborates on a national level with universities, public institutions, and scientific research groups regarding problems that are interconnected with coastal environments. He is the CEO of the company La Dragaggi SRL which deals with port maintenance, maritime works, and the reconstruction of coastal environments. Saturday evening, October 27, Ilica held its annual gala at the Queen's Museum. Honorees included Stefano Boscolo Cucco, Gian Piero Pagliaro, Vice President of Mediterranean Shipping Company here in the United States, and Emma D'Aquino, primetime journalist for Rai Television. In addition, Guests were treated to performances by Matteo Fedeli and the dancers of the Mula Sungani Physical Dance Company, highlighting Prima Ballerina Emanuela Bianchini. Let's now go to the Calandra Institute. The aim of ILICA, of course, is collaboration and bringing people together and creating synergies among all the groups that have interests in Italy, in Italian-American studies, and Americans of Italian heritage. I'm very delighted that uh, Patrick Cabanda could join us this evening. Patrick Cabanda is a native of Uganda. I just came back from China for the first time in Beijing to talk about my book. One of the things which um, I found fascinating about China was its culture also. And there's a gentleman called So Tung Po. And So Tung Po was a polymath who was a poet and an and engineer. And he did a lot of things. Now, in my book, one of the people who came up who is like So Tung Po is Leonardo da Vinci. And uh, he's one of our most iconic individuals. Um, I think his painting of the Mona Lisa is still, still regarded very highly. But what's remarkable when I was doing research on Leonardo da Vinci, I realized that he was actually not taking himself seriously as um, a painter. In one of his job applications, he's like, oh, you know, if I get this job, I can also paint. <laughs> and today, most of us know him because of um, uh, his, um, his, his painting. But um, I can imagine uh, one of the passages I noted in the book about So Tung Po working on a modern campus uh, today, where silos 
um, scientists work by themselves. Maybe this is different at QA. No, <laughs> and uh, mathematicians work in uh, their own units, and there's no collaboration. Yet, people like Leonardo da Vinci show us that actually these parts can go together, influencing both culture and commerce. And I'm going to uh, mutate um, the passage about Sotungpo, and this time I'm going to use Leonardo da Vinci because their two polymaths have a lot in common. So, assuming um, Leonardo da Vinci shows up at a modern university campus, so he will go to your university and will ask him, is it literature that interests you, Mr. Leonardo? Then please see the School of Humanities. Oh, you're a painter. Please drop by the Department of Fine Arts. What's that? Is it engineering that pequeues your interest? We have an excellent school for that too. Oh, but I want to do it all. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Leonardo, we can't help you. Please return when you've clarified your career objectives. Meanwhile, and this is the most important point, if you like, I can direct you to the School of Mental Health Services. <laughs> so uh, the issue is that people like Leonardo who were combining painting and they were engineers, his contribution to mathematics are remarkable. Today can't fit in, um, in college campuses and just the way we look at international nations is troubling. When I was a child, I had a dream, and uh, this dream was to have the opportunity to uh, live with the music, to live uh, in music. And uh, uh, year after year, I, I realized my, my dream. Now I have the opportunity to speak with music, to speak what uh, I have inside with the violin, with the voice of the violin. It's not uh, only the uh, simple violin or new violin, but uh, with the instrument that uh, has uh, uh, 300 years. It's a special violin built by, by the families uh, very important families in Italy. Amati was the first violin maker in Italy, and uh, after him, born Stradivari, and then Guarneri. I want to share this opportunity and this gift with uh, all people. I played for this reason, not only in the auditorium or theater for music, but also in the churches, in the castles, in the hospital, in the school for the young students. I want to share the voice of these violins with old people. Is my life this? And then uh, uh, Vula uh, tell you something about the project because we um, take the, the music, take the dancer and uh, share our culture, our professionality uh, in, in a special project. I'm uh, hydraulic engineering and uh, fifth uh, generation of uh, dredging master. Uh, dredging master is uh, a particular work that making uh, maintenance of port and uh, reconstruct uh, beach. Uh, I'm very glad and great, grateful to Vincenzo and Donna for being uh, here because uh, I'm uh, an engineering and uh, these people are artists. So <laughs> I'm not a songer, I'm not a singer, I'm not a writer, but uh, I, I am a... Can I take? Yes. I take yeah. the book of Patrick. I am a creative. <laughs> uh, in my opinion, in my life, the creativity is uh, a sort of key that can permit you to move uh, everything. Mm -hmm. Because in, uh, in my work, I use the creativity. And the creativity is used to all these people to exprim, uh, express the things that are inside. Uh, mm, two weeks ago, I make a sort of workshop in Italy for the port uh, maintenance. And um, a lot of people that participate and make uh, the moderation of this uh, workshop say to me, uh, Stefano, you are full. Cioè, you are crazy. Your ideas are crazy, but uh, 
Uh, from this crazy idea, you can change the thing in Italy. Uh, so I'm very connected and joined to these people with the creativity. In my opinion, it's a sort of engine that moves everything. My background is uh, Malawi, a country from the Commonwealth, so I should be speaking English, but my English is back to the five years old. And then uh, I asked him if he can translate it. This bridge is uh, taking shape because last year I was the man of the year and I was the new Italy. Look at me, we are the new Italy, like it or not. This year this bridge is getting shape with Patrick because he's here, I'm here, and we share something in common. But my conviction is that we are in a new era. The new era doesn't have a language. He has an idiomatic approach. So we have to come out with this idiomatic approach and try to be original at all times. So this is the mission that we feel that we have in the new century. To be original, what did I do? I tried to fish on the passion, the rhetoric of Italian uh, romance, put into a physical dance, his originality, his idea of being original, was not to disregard the past, but to bring it into a new form. The reason why I try to create this is because I believe that visual is much more powerful than language or communication. My idea is to fish always from the culture, not abandon it, but amplify and modernize. For example, there's China now that is opening up. It's very close as a country, but at the same time, China has a language and character so different, the very visual. So I expect them to come in Italy and find as well something there. What are they going to find? The synthesis of what I want to tell you, I will show it as I expected and as a conclusion of my presentation. Vision. The idea of creating something new is to do it with super professional. Because if you do it with somebody that comes in to see what's in for me, it never happened. Sono molto felice del vostro invito, del, del premio che mi avete riservato, quindi è un onore per me rappresentare eh, l'Italia, spero di rappresentarla bene, creatività, talento, intelligenza, voglia di fare, fantasia che è tipicamente italiana. It's a pleasure for me to be here with a special evening with a young musician. I bring with me three young musicians from Italy for uh, a show very interesting. And you're bringing young musicians and you're bringing a very old violin. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I balance. <laughs> the violin that I play tonight is uh, Guarneri, Pietro Guarneri, uh, built in 1709. 300 years old violin. The sound is magic. Is uh, uh, something special for me to play this wonderful violin because in his history there is the sound of all the musicians that, that play, play this violin in the centuries. Yeah. Congratulations. It's, uh, it's great to be here. It's, uh, it's una festa, as uh, people say. It's like it's uh, 
we finally see the result uh, like of the synergies of a lot of work done in the past and uh, we finally see like that the things are moving and uh, are growing year after year so yeah. it's an honor to be here together with the other people to be recognized but also um, it's also a responsibility to do something more for the future and that's uh, we take it and we are ready for the challenge I look around and I see as usually 70% of the people very young. I got the future in my hand. This yeah. is Lavinia. Lavinia is my granddaughter. She came from Rome to stay with us. She speaks perfect English. She's American. And we are proud to be America. At the same time, our mission is to bring the positive of Italy. Here you find only imported food from Italy. The chefs are from Italy. Everything is from Italy because if Italy will gain back the centrality of uh, being the crib of the Western culture, probably everybody will benefit out of that. But if we continue to think the paisa are Italiani, we're making an historical mistake. A lot of respect for the people that helped me to be where I am. But they are Americans of Italian origin. We must also let our Italian friends to know that they exist and we refer ourselves to them. This is the idea of Ilica. Congratulations on your award tonight, being the young professional of Ilica. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So you crossed the ocean a few times. You know the spirit of Ilica as the intercultural exchange between Italy and the United States first and foremost. And also yesterday, the theme of our, of our symposium was art and business. And we had also different nations yesterday um, uh, represented, not just Italy and the United States, but also Patrick from Uganda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Patrick is a very incredible uh, person. With a discussion with Patrick, uh, there is a particular point of view that we discuss for a technical, artistic way, a very interesting uh, person. We're very excited because we're tying together things that had happened in the previous years. So now we have our violinist here tonight with his quartet. We have our dancers here. So that's the, this is the first time they'll be collaborating. So that's kind of the one of the aims of Ilica, to get people to come together and join forces and create something new. And the violins aren't going to play 17th or 18th century music. They're going to play what can we say? They're going to play traditional, classical, popular. Exactly, exactly, because that's the other aim. I mean, just like tonight, uh, the dancers will perform a tarantella, which is like nothing anybody's ever seen before. So when they say tarantella, they're like, huh? <laughs> but that's kind of the point, to revitalize, take the old forms and make them accessible to a whole new generation. We have some wonderful awardees this evening. Our first awardee this evening, many of you know who watch Italian television, is Emma D'Aquino. This year is our Ilica Donna, our Woman of the Year. So please welcome Emma D'Aquino. Grazie, grazie al mio amico ormai da tanti anni Vincenzo, grazie agli amici nuovi, a Donna e a tutti, a tutti voi per questo invito e soprattutto per questa nomination. Io lo scorso anno, dicevo, sono stata qui un po' diciamo come visitatrice e ho cercato di capire un po' di cosa trattasse Ilica, quale fosse lo spirito di questa, di questa fondazione. Oggi, devo dire, ne conosco molto di più e sono felice di far parte di questa che possiamo dire sinceramente essere una, una, bella, una bella famiglia. So our young professional this year is an engineer. We are very, very proud um, to be presenting the award to Stefano Boscolo Cucco, and I'd like to invite Michele Siracusano up to join us in presenting this award to Stefano. This young man I met about 10 years ago, he was a student of engineering, and he had lots of dreams. 10 years later, Stefano, is on the verge of presenting an international patent for cleansing marine sand from its pollutants 
and be able to reuse it for rebuilding beaches and coastlines with virtually no environmental impact. I'm proud of the presentation of uh, Michele and a great uh, for uh, Vincenzo and Donna. Thank you so much. Last night we had a, a conference. In this conference we talk about when you do something that wants to revolutionize the way people think. And everybody says you have to put in budget the fact that nobody will recognize. Those who recognize, they say it's too early. And those who really see it, they say these people are crazy. So you may you don't see this in a generation two and three, where we put the seeds of Ilica to just let you know that we are working towards that direction. We are trying to, like Monvula say, to put upside down what we have been thinking so far. Uh, several years ago, those of you who joined us for our dinner at um, Hunter College, you heard Matteo Fedeli play the Stradivarius violin. And it was quite extraordinary. Um, you, you may recall, and those of you who weren't there, you can picture this, um, Matteo doesn't play this 300-year-old precious violin somewhere in a private room where nobody sees it. His idea is that you bring the violin, you bring the music to the people. But tonight he's going to be playing with a group of musicians together with a group of dancers. And I'm going to let Anthony say something about that. The dancers are the Mula Sungani Physical Dance Company of Rome. But let me just introduce first Mula. Um, and and I, I like to think of him um, from the uh, streets of New York at Dodicianni con Raffaella Carrà to the pinnacle of the dance world in Italy and in Europe, um, an award-winning dancer himself, an award-winning choreographer and he has put together this school that is this company that is just absolutely phenomenal. Okay. And of course, we introduce this with passion. Thank you. 
la mente creativa dietro tutto questo il genio di Mvula Sungani The Ilica Man of the Year Award went to Giampiero Pagliaro, Vice President of the Mediterranean Shipping Company here in the U.S. Giampiero is seen here with Annalisa Liuzzo, one of the co-founding members of Ilica, Dana Chirico, President of Ilica, and Vincenzo Marra, co-founder and chairman of Ilica. Thanks for watching this episode of Italics. I'm Anthony Tamburri. Arrivederci alla prossima puntata.